Welcome into the Quakes Post Game Show. I'm Sammy O'Brien alongside Zach Bigley, and we'll recap every home game here at Lone Mart Field. Will the Quakes win tonight 11-9 over the Stockton Forts in Game 2 of this four-game homestand? It was back and forth for quite a bit. The offense coming up big clearly with 11 runs on the day and a strong relief appearance from Sven Schuler was the difference in this game tonight, Zach. Yeah, and ultimately the, the runs early were big. A 4 nothing lead after the first inning that seemed to be decisive, decisive wasn't necessarily the case. But you have four guys who have multi-hits here today. Luke Rayleigh with four singles, his second four-hit game of the season. Very good offensive performance overall. And yes, Sven Schuler, very good out of the bullpen. They needed that. Tough start from Jordan Sheffield. Five walks after he walked six in his first start with the Quakes. But Sven Schuler came out, established the bullpen. It's what the Quakes needed, and he was able to do that. A lot of guys did a lot of things at the plate for the Quakes here tonight, but Jose Brizuela against his former team, the Ports, going two for four on the day, scoring a pair of runs. I caught up with him after the game. Jose, on the day, two for four with two runs scored. You were just recently signed to the Dodgers. You were coming from the Independent League. How are you seeing the ball here at Hyatt? Uh, not too bad. Uh, just working with Bates and uh, uh, just going out and having a good time. You were released from Stockton, the team you guys defeated here tonight. Did you have this one marked on your calendar for a little bit? Uh, well, when the Dodgers called me, I kind of I checked their schedule and I saw that we were playing Stockton, and uh, definitely uh, knew that it was going to be a good time and see my old teammates. And uh, I mean, it's fun to play those guys. Since you've been here, you've been playing third and first last night. Adrian Gonzalez was playing first base tonight. You were slated for first base playing there. How cool is it as just a fan of baseball to learn from a guy like that at first? Yeah, man, it's awesome. Uh, he's a great guy and uh, big shoes to fill at first base, but I tried my best. And then I know you're from Venezuela. You have done high school and college and everything like that here in America and Florida for the most part. But born in Venezuela, how'd you learn pick up English so quickly? Uh, just kind of threw myself out there, you know, just uh, they said that the best way to learn was uh, to just have conversations. And that's kind of what I did uh, with my teammates in baseball and uh, my classmates. So. Not too bad. So with the 11-9 win over the Ports here tonight, Quakes moved to 31-21 and on the second half standings. Good for first place in the South. Unfortunately, both the Jethawks and 66ers also collecting wins here to try and stay on par with the first place Quakes and Zach. A couple of games left here at home against the Ports, but big ones as we roll on through the rest of the, the second half. Just 18 games remaining here in the second half of the season. This is going to be a lot of fun down the stretch. As you mentioned, Lancaster and Inland Empire both winning tonight, so two games back for Inland Empire, or three games back for Inland Empire, two games back for Lancaster. So as we go forward here in this one, we are going to see a lot of the Lake Elsinore Storm who find themselves 10 games back here with 18 games remaining. So that's going to be interesting to see if they're able to rally. That is pretty much eliminated right there. But the Quakes are going to have to play their best baseball here down the stretch, especially against these ports, pick up these games, and then you get into the division down the stretch. This is where it gets exciting. This is where it gets interesting with the Quakes trying to the playoffs. Drew Saylor and the Quakes will send Michael Boyle to the Hill tomorrow for the start against the Stockton Ports Game 3 of the four-game series right now split at 1-1. One and one. Well, for the Quakes Post Game Show, I'm Samuel O'Brien alongside Zach Bigley. We hope to see you out here at the ballpark tomorrow, 7.05 start time for Game 3 against the Ports.